Our opening shows of our characters feet walking up the stairs with the female leading him. This sets the scene of the female being in power and being superior. We liked how we incorporated black objects within our frame to fade out and become our sequence titles. We use white writing on a black background that connotes innocence in our dark thriller. We also use red writing within this too to show the blood that will be spilt later on in our film. We like this shot of our antagonist walking into the frame as we thought the framing was good. We also like the layout of the props as we could see the candles in front of the mirror but we could also see the reflections of other candles in the frame. We like the voiceover because it adds a mysterious effect of the unknown. It creates questions to the audience of who is this character, what is her role in the film. We also like the idea of using the voiceover because the person isn't known to the audience yet and keeps them in the dark. After all, it's only an opening, so therefore we do not want to reveal it all straight away. We think that we could improve on the feel of the film. Although we wanted it to be fast paced with editing, the sound made the film feel a bit slow for our taste. However, we liked the music, but this is something we could look for in the future before we consider what order our shots will go in. Finally, we liked the last shot we produced. We liked how once the candle is blown out, it fades to our final title sequence, and we feel that the opening is left on a good note. In what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Through films are normally shown from two characters' point of view, so therefore we, therefore we incorporated this within our opening. We had two points of view from our protagonist and another from our antagonist. Unconventionally, a young girl is our killer, who preys on young boys, which in this case will be seen as the vulnerable innocent, instead of the typical stereotype of being the antagonist. Our killer's bedroom is dimly lit with candles. This is conventional in a thriller in having dark lit rooms to portray the fr thriller genre. We use fast paced editing to create tension within the scene, in addition to building suspense and an em emotional connection with the audience. We use slow motion shots, also changing the timing and pacing of a sequence in order to draw an emotional response from the audience. The orchestral music we use is unconventional to be used within a psychological thriller and conventional to be used in a horror thriller. However, it does create the same effect to the audience and what they would expect to see. It creates tension to the audience and confusion, which mimics the confusion that a psychological thriller makes within a film. The camera angles we will use will create further meaning within the scene. We use pattern and weighting, positioning the killer to the left of the frame and the victim to the right, playing on who has the power and indicates the change of power that will happen within the rest of the film. We use medium shots which are relatively good in showing facial expressions, but work well to show body language as well. We use the medium shot to show the body language of the victims, however then we cut to close-ups, which will then emphasise the facial expressions of the characters. This is a conventional way to show facial expressions of characters to get a sense of how they are feeling. How does your media product represent particular social groups? Our media product represents teenagers slash young adults as being they. You can see this by a main character looking in the mirror, redoing her makeup. Also, there's another mirror shot showing the vanity of women and that they rely on mirrors around them. It shows women as manipulating. Our antagonist is the one to control the boy, which usually stereotypically would be the other way around. We try to break this convention to show the change in society. Our opening shows teenagers to be driven by sexual desire with our female character dressing provocative to entice the male lip. She dresses in a short black cocktail dress and has red lips. The colour red can relate to the blood that's spilt later on, but we discovered that the colour red also can have a different meaning to different people. We found out 
When the colour red is worn on women, it attracts male attention. So therefore, a character likes the attention to be on her. So it's suitable, she wears this colour. What kind of media institutions might distribute your media product and why? As a group, we feel as though a suitable distributor for our film will be Warner Brothers. A film company such as this has a history of producing successful thriller films, both critically and commercially. For example, they have distributed Inception, The Dark Knight, Beef of Vendetta, The Parted, Iron Legend, and Gran Torino. Undoubtedly, these are some of the greatest thriller films, and films in general, produced within the last 10 years, especially Christopher Nolan's two masterpieces, Inception and The Dark Knight. We feel as though, with thriller films of this high standard within the catalogue of Warner Brothers, they would help to distribute our film in order to gain maximum success. The way Warner Brothers distributed The Dark Knight also appealed to us, with pre-marketing strategy aiming to gain a lot of hype around the film through viral marketing schemes and advertisements. Warner Brothers also went to great lengths in order to ensure people enjoyed the film and the cinema, and the cinema alone. They devoted six months to an anti-piracy scheme that involved tracking the people who have pre-released copy of the film at any one time. Shipping and delivery schedules were also staggered and spot, che spot checks were carried out both domestically and overseas to ensure illegal copying of the film was not taking place in cinemas. Inception is another example of a careful and strategical ma marketing plan set up by Warner Brothers. With viral marketing campaigns, a prominent force. On June 2nd, 2010, a manual was sent out to various companies. The manual was filled with bizarre images and text all relating to Inception. As the month went on, more and more viral marketing began to surface, including posters, advertisements, phone applications and strange websites all relating to the film. The official trailer was released on May the 10th, 2010, which was extremely well received. It features an original piece of music, Mind Heist, by marketing composer Zach Hemsey, rather than music from the score itself. The trailer quickly went viral and numerous mashups copying its style both by amateurs and on sites like YouTube and by professionals on sites like College Humour. We feel as though this is a brilliant way for people to get talking about the film and for it to receive the most publicity possible. Warner Brothers are extremely good at creating a buzz for a film, with distribution being a very important and slightly ignored part of the film cycle. Who would be the target audience for your media product? We decided our audience would be teenagers to young adults because this age group would be the ones that would be most interested in thrillers. We bring the age group of young adults in as our thriller is psychological and therefore we believe that young adults are able to understand the plot further. We thought that our audience would be fashion orientated, so therefore we found it necessary that we use recent fashion trends and fashion icons, for example Cheryl Cole, that our audience would be interested in, admire and inspire to be. Ultimately leading us to including pictures of actresses and actors that are well known. So we use Drew Barrymore because she can be associated with the thriller genre for her character role in films such as Scream. There are also pictures of what television shows that we believe our audience will like. So therefore we include them between us as our audience will be able to relate to the characters featured as they are teenagers themselves. Also we featured acts from the show X Factor, that's a favourite of mine, as we found that this age group tends to enjoy watching it and also the music within the show is music they like. We included other pictures from people in the music industry like Robbie Williams and 50 Cent because our audience varies in different tastes of music. So therefore, they are not always going to like and have the same opinions on artists. Lastly, we used a picture of Jack Nicholson with the famous quote from The Shining. Here is Johnny! As we find that our audience would tend to be interested in great films like the one directed by Stanley Kubrick. Finally, we used the usage of kisses over a poster to underlie further meaning relating to our film, which is later to be reviewed. How did you attract slash address your audience? In order to address our target audience who we aimed at as late teens to early twenties, we used a setting or situation which we thought that would relate to a younger generation, such as a room that is dimly lit and romantic. We, we created a scene that unravels a couple on a date with a mystery behind closed doors. This can also form a sense of secrecy and privacy where the two characters are left by themselves, but the showing of a third party can show that there's nothing that it is really kept private. There's always someone out there who knows something, like gossip, that spreads around the social environment. Now over to Tom on location. Action. We've also used costumes to attract and address the target audience. As you can see, the protagonist or victim is wearing a branded shirt. The brand is Hollister, as you can see here, 
which is very popular within our target audience, as many of the audience were brands such as Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch and American Eagle. Tom Driscoll, reporting from the front of Sixth Floor. Thank you for that, Tom. The use of young actors and the absence of adult actors is to portray that our audience like to distance themselves from their parents, becoming more independent, where they're transitioning from a child into their own adult. Because of this, they tend to become more of their own person, not relying too much on an adult or pair. What have you learned about technologies from the process of constructing this product? We decided to use Final Cut Express to edit our product as we felt it offered more opportunities for us to enhance our opening with different editing options available. Using Final Cut Express allowed us to be more precise with the fit timings and also gave us the ability to lighten and darken our shots as we had problems with our lighting when shooting our film. This benefited us as we were able to give a good sense of chronological order within our opening. We started creating our music in GarageBand, however, we found it was hard to create the feeling we were going for. After having difficulties with this, we searched on the internet for a royalty-free music. We found a fitting piece of music which was featured in our opening. We used a blog site to showcase our progress and development throughout the planning, production and editing. We've been blogging regularly with posts about what we've been doing over the past five months. We have done extensive research into the thriller genre, hoping that we would be able to take aspects and add them to our own work. Whilst using Blogger, we have used other sites, for example YouTube, to embed clips onto our Blogger site. We created our own page on YouTube so that we could interact with our potential audience, so therefore we could gain feedback on what they liked and disliked about our opening. We also used SlideShare to make our blog more interesting instead of just posting pure writing. That technology isn't always reliable. We had some difficulties using Blogger as we didn't always have access when we needed it. To overcome this, we tried keeping important documents handwritten and undigested. Looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learned in the progression from it to the main task? We felt in our preliminary task that the camera positions were ineffective, although they did vary. We didn't like the location of our preliminary task, and felt it was rust and no care went into picking the appropriate location. We took this into account when filming our main task and chose a location which we liked and that would work well within our film. We didn't like the story because we went for a comedic and satire film. Therefore, we can get a feel for what we wanted to create when it came to filming our thriller opening. In our preliminary task, we used ourselves as actors, which was convenient. However, this meant we didn't all have input in the filming process, and we wanted to have everyone's take. So this is why we used actors in our final product, and made sure that we had specific character traits for our protagonists. The music we chose was fitting to what we wanted to achieve for our preliminary task. However, the end result we weren't satisfied with. In our final product, the music we felt fitted in well with the genre and what we were going for, although we felt that it slowed down the feel of the film, although we had fast-paced editing. 